Oh my God, it's beautiful. Maganda, Sarap. That's a big dish, especially in Texas. Oh, boy, that's hot. We've been traveling all day. I had to make a stop. Thanks to a viewer, made a recommendation, said culinary of arts and the best food is in Pampanga. So we've stopped here in San Fernando. This is the Souk restaurant. They've actually been so nice to us. Traffic held us up, but the manager approved a late stay for us. So we're here, we just actually placed our order. That's the manager, very kind lady. They've already had last call, but they're accommodating us. We've placed our order on the basis of the manager's recommendations, the pork seasick and also the slow-cooked beef brisket calderetta. So we got two dishes for me. So my son has ordered the big bulalu steak. He got some steamed rice and an apple apple shake. My wife ordered the crispy dobo liempo. That should be interesting. They're gonna take a little while to cook this stuff up, but beautiful backdrop. They've actually seated us here in the garden. Something about this restaurant, when I was talking to the manager, I asked her what the name Suk means. I associate it with Thai, such as like the Sukhumvit, which is uh, in, in Thailand, their main highway uh, around Bangkok. So, but she's saying it's Arabic, which is true too. I didn't associate it. Been to Arabia. This is a Pampanga style. All right, dinner is served. It actually came out really quick, so that was exciting. The manager said it was gonna be a, a delay, and we were like, we're totally okay with that. They delivered fast, despite telling us there were gonna be a delay, so they've exceeded expectations Enough. right away. Oh, boy, that's At the pork sea sig. Here we go. Okay, again, using that, uh, that fork and the lemon. That was a trick, a uh, Filipino. Okay, so pork sisig. I asked her what the difference is between this pork sisig and the rest that they serve elsewhere. She just simply said, this is the best, so. Ooh, wow, it is tender, chopped very fine. Got onions. Let's just go solo. Let's try it solo. Mmm. Mm. See what the pork sisig is. Mm. No. Nice. Now I tried it before in Be Cold. They had some crispiness on the outside, which was kind of cool. I actually like that. And then the inside was just really, really soft meat. Delicious, delicious. Pork sig sig, campanga style. So now we're going after the beef brisket calderetta. God. That's so amazing. Okay, there's a lot going on. You got the beef in there, which is a beef brisket. That brisket, it was just cooked perfect. It was just kind of melted in my mouth. And then the tomato sauce with it, it's just amazing. Calderetta, calderetta. And the rice in there, that was interesting too. I normally don't like rice. I keep saying this, guys, but the rice with this dish, spectacular. We got some carrot here. Let's do another one of these. A big chunk of tomato. Let's get a piece of beef on there. This beef brisket, calderetta, it, it's up there. It's probably one of the top dishes I've had in the Philippines. This is good. Mm. Tomatoes, rice. I wonder what it would taste like if they put some onion in there, like some uh, sauteed onion. That might be interesting. I like, I'm a big fan of onion. But I did put the chili pepper on, on the beef side and I can taste it. There's not a whole lot of it, but I can taste it. This is a good mix. Uh, we got everything on here, the tomato sauce. You gotta come here. If you're in San Fernando, come to this restaurant. We'll put a link in the Facebook description. Highly recommend it. I've only ever done, I've only done two dishes so far. This beef brisket, oh my God, it's to die for. It's beautiful. Maganda, Sarap. Mm, good job. Okay, so this is the adobo. Okay, let's get into this adobo. The pork is cooked amazing. All right, so that uh, adobo, it's more has like a, a barbecue best dish in the Wow, this is so, we're gonna get off into this uh, hole today. Let's get into it. Yeah, it's good. Bolted flavor, it's good. Good, I like that. Let's try this beef here at my son. So we'll get some of those onions. That's good. And then this orange, we'll try it. I'm pretty confident to say that sweet potato. And some green beans. All right, let's 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 try the beef all by itself without introducing any kind of garlic or anything. Ooh. Nice. All right, so we've done several dishes so far, folks. We tried the pork sea sig. Yeah, that was good, it was nothing too fancy. I mean, it was very, very tender meat, but as far as the flavoring and stuff, I, 
Honestly, uh, not like some of the others I've tried. It's different, it's unique. So second one was beef brisket calderetta. Oh my gosh, calderetta means uh, like a tomato sauce or a tomato base or something like this. And, and the beef was cooked perfect. That's the best dish I've ever had in the Philippines. I swear, it's, it's amazing. And some other good dishes. Anyways, folks, we love you. Glad you stayed this long for the video. We appreciate all the viewers, more so the subscribers. So uh, there's gonna be some uh, videos up here. Google might think you like some playlist down in the bottom, big round button. Hit that subscribe button. And until then, my friends, we'll see you soon. We love you. Keep coming back.